Alright. I'm back. I'm back. Coming together, for sure. I don't want to make the prototype too, too complicated. Um, and obviously I can leave a bunch of to-dos and uh, notes uh, in places for things that I would like to do in a, in a bigger project using this as a basis. But I do want the prototype to be fairly straightforward uh, and not get too, too, too crazy. Because then in the prototype you have to build all those crazy things and that kind of defeats the purpose of a prototype. I mean, you're kind of looking at this as a proof of concept. It will work. You think it will work.
motion and comics. That's what it is. Interesting. So I do it like this. Yeah, so we're going to put an if statement here.
this to do. So we don't need any more. Do I have to stay as a bear here of glass? Yeah, 
Yeah, no, that doesn't work. But how do I set variables? How do I change variables? Is that a thing? Am I missing something? Stitches. Huh. Interesting. Conditional text. Different things. I know what I did. I think I have to do it like that, right? Nope, that's not what I wanted. So that's printing variables. That's fine.
Oh, okay. I found it. I found the thing I'm looking for. There we go. That's branch A done, pretty much. Uh, at least for the moment, I think that's that's all that I'm going to. Um, put this as a big to do. Hello. Yeah, um, the thing I'm using right now though is called Ink. It's by uh, Inkle. I have the thing open here actually. It's a really cool scripting language uh, used to make interactive fiction. Uh, it's something they designed to do the uh, adaptation work they've done for uh, 80 Days in Sorcery, which are really, really awesome mobile games. Uh, and you should totally check them out. Doing a thing.
really see them. Oh, I can pass of temp variable, can't I? Ah, oh, yeah, cool. I can. <laughs> Good luck with that, Johnny. If uh, someone can do that, I will be their bestest friend. Because they will be super powerful and ridiculous. Um, yeah, so if I do this...
should work. They tell me it should work. think about that. Good enough. So that's branch B done.
branch B done. So branch C. This is where it gets a little complicated. Okay, okay, so just thinking of logic here. Um, Okay, so I kind of figured it out. So, oh, I gotta turn my OBS so I can see it. I'll go to the big one here. So, for those who are curious, um, this is what I've been working off of and what I kind of designed this morning uh, based on the stuff I've been working on. So there's the start, and you have branch A, branch B, which, which I've been working on, and branch C. Branch C is, um, three locations or two locations and a character. So there's a small amount of things that happen here, but it's basically an enclosed loop uh, at a single location until you get these two tasks accomplished. Right there, it's hard, this is really hard to do. And then you have branch D, which is a short exploration of the cave with two doors. And then you have the end. Uh, because this is a prototype and I want it to be short. So, yeah. That's what I've got. So, yeah, like this needs to be all rewritten. I see what I can do here. So I should put this Marcus as uh, first time. Hey, McKelly, what's up, man?
<laughs> oh yeah. Thanks for doing that, Johnny. Too lazy to even self-promote myself. Also, I think Boba Bot's down again. Is what it is. Yeah, he's offline again. Is what it is. <laughs> Boba hasn't posted in four days. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark the first thing here as uh, static uh, static cave and we're going to first time. Good job, McKelly. now that I was doing this before and I actually really prefer it so I'm gonna fix that real quick because I prefer it chase the Yeah, I'm going to be going about another hour. Oh, right. Sorry. I forgot. I forgot I was showing off the things. This is how Derek must feel every day. Anyway. Cool. 
Okay, yeah, I got it, I got it. So the way I'm thinking about this is that I think I should have a flag for the farmer being there. that is set to true when he's there and false when he's not. And it'll give you options when he is there and no options when he's not. If that makes sense. I think that makes sense. Just a question of how I want to structure that. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go prologue events. Maybe. We'll say prologue McKellar. Yeah, Johnny is being awesome, doing that internship, and uh, should go well. Should go well. Oh, okay. Removed. No problem, Mikael. Have fun, man.
Connor. Farmer affection equals zero. Section plus two. <laughs> Flipping safe. I flipped. Well, I saved. Anyway. I have a habit. It's a lot easier to do in writing than it is in drawing. But I totally have a habit of hitting control S every time I stop typing. I save like every minute, minute and a half. So now do I add the case statement to I think I got it.
How do I want to design the inventory? Do I want to have a real inventory or do I want to just have flags? I think for this, I think we're just going to have flags. I think if it was bigger, you could do something more with an inventory. But we're going to set... Uh, I have player variables here. We set fair. Fair has torch equals zero. And every time we find a torch, we're just going to add one to that value. Yeah. First if statement is going to go here. take another uh, five minute break here and then we're gonna finish up uh, all of the farmer interactions and we'll see how much time we have left after that but yeah another another five minute break give me a chance to collect myself where's my OBS there's my OBS all right break